how is the off season treating you? Off season's going well. Um, you know, I, this year, I guess the off season has been a little bit longer than usual, just because we're starting the season a little bit later, but, um, it's good back on the ice, um, after all the parties, I guess, to celebrate the cup, but back to, back to business <laughs> and the hard work being put in. Nice. So what has been your favorite activity that you've been enjoying this summer? I like to spend a lot of time outdoors. Um, you know, the weather here in Boston hasn't been um, the best of weather of, of the summers we've had, but um, I live very close to the beach. So I like to go to the beach um, and um, very outdoorsy person. So paddle boards and um, been playing a lot of tennis and stuff. So a lot of stuff outside of, you know, training and being on the ice, it's kind of nice to enjoy um, the weather when you can, but um, it hasn't been the, the bestest weather for <laughs> for our summer. <laughs> oh, that's always the worst. I feel like the weather lately everywhere has just been either extremely hot or like rainy and stormy everywhere. And I'm just like, I don't know what's happening. With yeah. It. There's like two extremes. There's like forest fires and right. the hottest weather possible or like polar opposite where we're having like thunder showers and right. 60 degree weather. Definitely One day it's like 90. Ideal. <laughs> like yeah. <not> ideal summer. <laughs> yeah. So heading into your seventh NWHL season and then your fifth season with the Boston pride, what are you looking forward to the most? I'm really looking forward to hopefully being able to play in front of fans in a, in a full schedule. Uh, that's something that the last two seasons we, we haven't uh, been able to have, you know, we haven't been able to either conclude a season or finish a full season in, in <laughs> one kind of full swing. So I'm super excited to, to hopefully be able to travel, um, you know, to, to Toronto and some of these markets where we haven't been playing in front of fans. So I'm really excited for that. I'm definitely excited. I'm praying that you guys have fans because I know that we haven't, we had Toronto six last season, but obviously we had to play, you guys had to play in the bubble. So I'm hoping that just seeing their arena and everything else is going to be a whole different aspect going into the seventh season. So I wish you all the luck this year. I know you guys are defending that title. So um, it's time for our lightning round questions. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So what's your favorite time of year? Ooh um, fall, winter. Okay. Coffee yeah. or tea? Coffee. Definitely. Co I've got my coffee here. I'm a coffee. <laughs> <You're girl. already. laughs> what is your go-to pregame meal? Oh, I like to keep it light. So usually just like a chicken and rice, um, a very light, like chicken, like even grilled chicken on salad. Like, um, I, I don't eat heavy meals on game day. Okay. Okay. So what is your favorite hockey brand? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, <laughs> um, I think for the most part, I use Bauer, so I'll go with Bauer. Okay. And would you rather see five years into the future or go back five years back in time? Um, see five years into the future. Okay. And what was your favorite show to binge watch during quarantine? Oh God, I watched a ton of shows during quarantine, like a million, all, all the shows, every Netflix show you can think of. Um, I think the best thing that I, well, not the best thing, but the most interesting series that I decided to binge with my fiance was, um, Criminal Minds. So Ooh. that was, uh, an, it's, I mean, it's a very old show, but um, like for the amount of seasons that it has, but we've watched from start to finish all every single Criminal Mind, which at the end of it, started to get tedious because it's kind of like the same storyline over and over. Again. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, Outer Banks uh, now, Outer Banks two. I mean, we've gone through the whole the whole nice. thing. I've heard Outer Banks is a good show, so that's a good one. And what is your go to snack? Oh, I love snacking. I like every kind of food. Everything. <laughs> I like everything. Um, Oh man, go to snack. Um, I love, I really got into like plantain chips. Um, so I like plantain chips with like this salsa from Trader Joe's. So I'll do, it's kind of like a weird mix, but the plantain chips and salsa were definitely like a snack for me, like the past, you know, the time through quarantine into to real life happening again. But that sounds pretty interesting. I have not heard of plantains with salsa. So that's an interesting combination, but um, thank you so much for chatting with me today. Everyone make sure to follow Kaylee on social media. We're going to tag um, all of her social platforms below in the caption. And thank you again for being here. Yeah. Thanks for having me.